Well, the White House put out a statement yesterday that said that, as far as they were concerned, Israel should have no red line, no accountability, that Israel has the right to total impunity and unaccountability, according to the White House. That's explicit rejection of international law. That's explicit rejection of the concept of the rule of law. You don't actually believe in any of the things that you claim to believe in. You believe in power and you believe in brutality and you always have. Well, you've got uh, American warships over there now and you better be careful because they might just bomb one of your own ships just to blame it on Hamas because yes, that's also something that they've done before and if you don't know, look it up. The USS Liberty. Everyone in the world knows that the United States doesn't follow any rules of war either. America and its allies have a long and blood-soaked history. Now, the United States and Europe have been like ships sailing on a sea of blood, the blood of Africa, the blood of Latin America, the blood of the Middle East and the blood of Asia. Well, I don't think that there's been a genocide that you didn't support, from Congo to California, from the Philippines to Palestine. You know, you didn't even fight the Nazis to stop the Holocaust. You carpet bombed civilians in Germany, you murdered 80,000 innocent people in an instant in Hiroshima, and another 40,000 at Nagasaki in an instant, all in so-called self-defense. The rules that you make up on the fly, you still don't even follow those. That's because you are violent. You are violent and you believe in violence. What was that that Nat uh, Netanyahu said? We're the people of the light, bombing women and babies, hospitals, churches, dropping uh, white phosphorus on people to burn their skin off, blowing up entire city blocks of innocent civilians. That's the people of the light. You think that your violence is sacred. You think it's holy, sanctified atrocity. You think that the more violent you are and the more you're able to get away with that violence, the more it means that you're justified, the more it means that you are superior. And the superior always have the right to do whatever they want, don't they? If you can get away with being sadistic and evil, then you think it's proof of your superiority. And anyone who opposes you or expects you to follow any kind of rules is committing the ultimate crime of questioning your superiority. You're the people of the light, after all. And anyone who expects you to act like a normal, decent, law-abiding human being, they must be people of the darkness. And when you say uh, Israel has the right to defend itself, what you're really saying is uh, they have the right to defend their supremacy, and no one has the right to challenge it. That's what you're really saying. That's what you really mean. If you wonder why Hamas did what they did, why everything that happened since October 7th should tell you why, because the Zionists, now I won't say the Jews, and I won't even say the Israelis, but the Zionists are a fanatic, psychopath, sadistic, racist, bloodthirsty, unholy monster. Armageddon cult of the right-wing Christian Zionists are just the same, and it's a disgrace upon humanity for them to not be uh, confronted and resisted. It's Western supremacy, colonialist, imperialist supremacy that's being confronted. That's what's being confronted in Gaza. It's Western colonialist, imperialist supremacy that's committing genocide in Gaza right now. Everyone in the world is against you. Everyone in the global south. Gaza is a microcosm of centuries of anti-colonialist struggle. The entire global south, the BRICS nations, uh, all called for a ceasefire. The whole global south is undertaking frantic diplomacy, trying to bring peace and an end to the carnage in Gaza. And who's against that? The West, as always. America tells everyone, don't escalate. Meanwhile, they're sending warships and they're sending special forces to Israel. They say, don't escalate, while they are escalating. I'm telling you, this is a showdown now, not between uh, Hamas and the Israelis, not between Palestine and Israel, not between the Arabs and the Jews or the Muslims and the Jews. It's a showdown between savage Western supremacy and the civilized world, because you wanted uh, to pivot to the global south. You wanted to transition the global economy, but you're sick, you're power mad, you can't stand uh, for anyone to be genuinely free from your control. Just like, you know, you so-called abolished slavery in America, but you still wanted to be able to put black toddlers on leashes and send them into swamps to attract alligators for you to hunt, never mind if those babies got devoured in the process. Yes, you did that. And you're exactly the same right now today. Anyone's freedom anywhere is a threat to your supremacy everywhere. You know, you can see all those old pictures of people having picnics with their families in the American South 
uh, having sandwiches under the swinging bodies of black people who they just lynched. But right now, tonight, you're sitting in front of the television watching CNN and eating pizza, watching a genocide take place in Gaza. But you're no better than the generations before you. You never change. Your great-grandchildren's generation won't have any power.